There we go. That's what I'm going to try and do every day. It's easy in practice rounds though, isn't it? Hi, I'm Annabelle Dimmock, and this is how I'm going to play the 18th at the Evian Resort. So basically, the wind's a bit off the right. It's obviously a good chance here. If you can get an eagle here, obviously, you can jump a lot up, but a birdie here is very, I'm very happy with that. There's a bit of a strip lane, or like a fast lane, on the left of the fairway here. So if you can hit that and get the ball rolling down, then obviously you can get an iron into this green, which helps a lot. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. See how far I can get it down there, pretty much. And we see a big slope from sort of left to left right. Left to right, yeah. So you want to obviously be pitching it up the left there so that it's going to kick right and down. That's where the fast lane is. So let's see how, if I can actually do that. How's that? That was what I was more trying to do there. But actually, unfortunately, I caught that in the rough there, so it did take a soft bounce. If it was five yards, maybe even three yards right, it would have kicked and gone a lot further. But we still have a chance of birdie, so it's fine. Not too bad. How far is that going to leave you in, do you reckon, from there? I don't know, because it is playing a bit softer this year than the other years. Um, hopefully, I quite like my seven wood. It's a good flight into that green. It's a hand uh, hopefully it's going to be a handy club this week, to be honest with you. Seven heaven. It looks nice looking down at it as well. 2019, obviously, in particular, you're win winner here. Yeah. What are your memories of this hole in particular and that week? God. Do you know what? I was, so many people asked me this a bit. It all, everything was a bit of a blur. But I do remember being on the right rough here, like in the semi, and uh, I had to hit a three wood. And the rough wasn't brilliant, I mean, the lie wasn't brilliant, and I just leaked it a tiny bit right, but you can't actually see where it finished from here. So I didn't know if I've hit it in the water the whole way walking up there. was about five minute walk walking up there. Obviously you got a two shot lead thinking you just hit it in the water. I got up there and it was in the bunker, it was fine. Um, I'm pretty sure one of my mates put their hand up halfway, so I was like, oh, thank you. Um, but anywhere in a bunker, I was very, very happy with, you know, I just had to get it on the green and two putt it. So once I'd known it was in the bunker, I was pretty calm. Yeah, I remember Gavs was at the back of the green. It was like, good memories, good memories. And what is it about this course? I mean, you always seem to, to play well here. What is it about this course in particular that suits your game? Uh, do you know, honestly, I have no idea. I ask myself the same thing when I turn up every year. I don't understand. It's a tough course. Like, I think what it is, is you've got to have quite a high ball flight into some of these pins. Um, and in previous years, it's quite firm. So you've got to be able to stop the ball quite quick, which obviously gave me an advantage. But it's a little bit softer this year, so I'm not too sure if that advantage is going to be, you know, as prominent. But, I mean, here, I still I should have a, at least easier seven wooden. Right, Annabelle, just as we wanted, left side of the fairway. Yeah. Talk us through the approach now. So I've got 201 front, 207 pin. 209 pin, thank God Joe's here. Um, but I've just got a bit of a hanging lie, but I was actually right, I've got a seven wood in my hand um, and I'm just trying to get it anywhere on the green pretty much to give myself a putt. Um, but it's, the hard thing about this hole is the lies on your second shot, it's kind of like the defence around the whole course. But we'll see how we go. Yeah, it's very slopey, isn't it? Does that it change is, your yeah. approach the whole week? Yeah, it is. You've got to be able to know how to play the lies, like when the ball's hanging like that obviously downhill but like ball below my feet i know it's going to go right so i just have to make sure i know that and and just sweet and this distance is this an easy seven yeah it's not it's not for everything but to be honest with you i don't i'm going to hit it full obviously because if i'm a bit long of it it's fine okay let's see it i'd rather be long than short that's for sure Right, we made the green, it went a bit right, but I did expect that, so I made sure I kind of allowed for that a bit. Um, so that's fine, two parts birdie there, do you know what I mean? Outside chance for an eagle, we'll take that. So I've left myself uphill part, which is obviously what you want to be doing all week round here. I've got an outside chance for an eagle, but look, I'm looking just to make sure I pick that birdie up. That's the main thing here, really. Uh, so I'm reading it's right to left up the hill. I don't need to overcomplicate it, just give it a whack. And these greens as fast as they look? Um, yeah, do you know what? They've been speedier 
in previous years, but I think they've had a lot of rain, so it's going to play slightly different. It's a bit softer. The ball's a bit more receptive. Like, my seven would just pitch here and it stopped here. I think in previous years, that probably would have tried to get up in the other tier. So we'll see. It might, it's playing longer, of course, but it's playing softer, so it might play easier this week. You never know. We'll see in the scoring, but they are pretty speedy. They always are here. Right, let's see. Eagle putt then. Yeah, let's see. That would be good, wouldn't it? Go. Go. All right, we'll take it. Good pace. Yeah, tapping for birdie. We we'll always take that. Always. Bite someone's hand off for it. Tapping birdies. What is that? There we go. Easy as that. That's what I'm going to try and do every day. It's easy in practice rounds, though, isn't it? 